Hey guys, welcome back to Wayland Myers Old Iron. Hey, I got uh, I got a couple things knocked out on the Dirty Dozen tonight. A, a couple things checked off the list, and I thought I'd share them with you. You know, uh, had uh, quite a few people comment lately. Uh, hey, you want to know, Wayland, what's that green tarp hanging on your shop door? Well, it's not a tarp. It's my green screen. And it's what I use to uh, to do these intros, and I always usually use a one of Shevaholic's uh, photographs for a backdrop because he's quite a quite a good photographer, even though he doesn't know it. He said, "I just point and shoot," but hey, he makes some good pictures. So I try to use those when I can. Uh, if you don't know about Shevaholic, go check him out on YouTube. He's a good feller. Got some real interesting stuff. All right, let's see what we got done tonight, okay? Well, I finally got all the lights working on this thing. But I got the marker lights working, and I got these marker lights working, and I got the signal lights working, headlights all working, instrument panel lights work. I got to test drive it some more and make sure that this fan is kicking on. Um, yeah, it's got a little thermostat down there that kicks on. So I got to make sure that's, that's all good. But, uh... I think Noah's coming up tomorrow and we're going to do some more stuff to it, but uh, I've been working on this thing a little bit and I'm going to work on it some more this afternoon. Uh, I've got a couple little items I want to tackle and I'll get to that later. Oh, 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 before I forget, um, people ask me about, do you have a plan for this thing for the exhaust? And yes, I do. And one question was, are you going to run them into this stack on the back? No. I'm not, but I gotta leave this. I just, I, I just think it's so cool that they welded it right to the cab, you know, because this thing's made out of metal. Try that on a modern rig. Try that on your, your uh, 2021 Kia and see what happens. Yeah, um, had lots of questions, and uh, maybe I'll do a question and answer thing about this rig later. But right now. Uh, we need to go down and take the tractor and work on the driveway a little bit. It's uh, finally getting above freezing during the daytime, anyway. And I've been getting up about 40 in the last few days. Uh, and there's one part of my driveway that the sun just still does not hit. Um, it's going to be a while yet. But between the gate and that old truck down there, uh, it's just been a solid sheet of ice since about the 1st of December. Maybe even sometime in... November, but uh, since it's warmed up just a little bit, I'm going to take the tractor down and, and see if I can clean some of that ice off the driveway. Um, yeah, y'all want to go? Uh, all right, you guys can ride on the fender. We'll go down and see what it looks like. I may not be able to do anything, but we'll take a look.
doggone it, ain't darn how. I was going to dive into this thing, but, you know, looking around here, it's pretty obvious that the first thing I need to do is clean house. Oh, Mr. Heavy Chevy, he just put me to shame, man. He's got his workbench so clean. And look at mine. Look at my project table and my workbench. It's a mess. Uh, even that one over there still got drive shaft remnants. I need to clean that up and get all that out of here. <clears throat> so I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll do that before I start working on anything. Well, there's one little chore that I need to take care of. Um, with this double joint, this carding joint, I, um, I had to lift it up a little bit here in order to get uh, a bind out of it. It wasn't, it wasn't a, a hard bind, but there was one little place that you could tell it, uh, it was coming up on a, on a little bit of a hard spot. And I didn't know which U-joint it was in for a while, but I traced it all out and finally uh, pinned it down to this one. So when I lifted this bracket up a little bit, it uh, made it all work. Uh, this, this was just a little bit too tight of a turn, too tight of an angle for a single U-joint. So I put this double in there and it, it works good, but now that I've got it in the proper position, um, but what that did when I brought that up was it uh, it raised my steering wheel up out of the column and I need to drop that back down so it gets back in place and takes that wobble out so uh, like I said like I've said it only took me about 55 years to figure it out but I finally learned how to just tack things together instead of welding everything up solid and have to cut it apart to change anything and I, as you can see right here there's just a little tack right there and that's in there's one on the other side and I need to cut those tacks loose and take about a three quarters of an inch off of that shaft and that will allow that steering wheel to drop back down into position in the column where it should be and then uh, I can go ahead and weld this up solid or drill it and put a bolt through it if I just weld it up I don't uh, well I don't know you know I might bolt it just in case I ever need to take it apart I could drill it and run a bolt through it and then still go ahead and tack it and maybe that's what I'll do I uh, probably got a little probably got a grade 8 bolt that size I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I think that's what I'll do. I do a lot of things that are not necessarily good ideas, but sometimes they work. You know, sometimes it works out. So I think I'm going to tackle that little chore next. Not too big a deal. Just one of those things that needs to be done. All right, let's, uh, let's see if we can cut that tack. I need to get a little bit of light on the subject. Okay, I gotta turn you guys off. I think I'm getting sparks really close to the camera. And I don't wanna do that. Y'all know what's going on.
There we go. Just right. Well, I got the tire straight and I got the steering wheel to match it. Got it on straight, so I think I'm going to go ahead and tack that in place. That takes care of that. That's a nice little thing to have done, have out of the way, all taken care of. I'm gonna get this thing up in the air now and uh, continue on putting some welds on my brackets because uh, I think I'm in pretty good shape where the steering goes now. I think it's safe to go ahead and weld some stuff up. So that's what I'm gonna do. Let's press on. Okay, I got my steering mounts all welded up there and this thing is just smooth as a baby's butt from bump to bump. And not only that, but my steering wheel is on straight. Ain't that a good thing, man? Ain't that a glorious thing? I wonder, I wonder if I can make throttle linkage out of this monstrosity I'm guessing the answer is probably yes If I can make my throttle out of this thing, I don't know what it's off of. It's uh, metric, so I don't know. I ain't put anything metric on this truck, but you know, sometimes you have to make sacrifices.
Well, that'll do it for this time, fellas. And we'll see you here again real soon on Wayne Myers Old Iron. And until I do, to my family, I love you. And to you subscribers, I sure do appreciate you. See you soon. Thank <laughs> you.